Hello and welcome back to Lance and Chuck, where today I'll be teaching you a simple move known as the Strike and Tuck. The most important portion of this move is the tuck, because the tuck can be used in several other instances besides the specific strike. So if you've never done a tuck like this before, just start out by simply taking one end of the nunchuck and putting it underneath your arm like this, just to get a feel for how to position it during the tuck. Make sure that there is light tension on the chain while you're in the tuck position, because if there's not tension on the chain, you might end up hitting your hand on the nunchuck as you're bringing it back, or it'll be more difficult for you to take the nunchuck out of the tuck position and go into a strike. What may also happen if your nunchuck that you're holding onto is too close to the other nunchuck that is underneath your arm, is that when you bring it back for the tuck, that you accidentally wrap your arm around the chain part of the nunchuck, and the other end goes swinging upwards. So to learn this move, start out by just holding your nunchuck like this, with one hand in the front grip, and the other end of the nunchuck just hanging downwards. Then from here, you can start swinging it back and forth, and whenever it comes towards you, swing it up and try to catch it like this. So just go nice and easy in the beginning, letting it swing, bring it back, tucking it under your arm, releasing it, letting it swing, bring it back and tucking it under your arm, and do that multiple times just to get a feel for when the proper time is to tuck the nunchuck. So after you've been letting it swing a few times and tucking it repeatedly, what you can do is you can try by, after you've tucked it, to pull the nunchuck outwards, letting it swing over top like this, and then bringing it back. So once again, release the nunchuck from under your arm like this, bring the nunchuck that you're currently holding onto upwards in order to guide the nunchuck that is swinging, bring the nunchuck that you're holding onto back, let the other end swing around, and then bring that end back again into your tuck position. Start out by going nice and slow, so really guide the nunchuck that you're swinging with the nunchuck that you're currently holding onto by drawing its path upwards like this, letting the other end swing around like that, and then bringing it back. So after you've gotten this move up to speed, there are a few different altercations that you can do. So the first type of altercation that you can do is more of a movie slash Bruce Lee style of this move, which is by throwing the hand that is currently holding onto the nunchuck outwards and pulling the nunchuck straight outwards like this, and then quickly letting it flash around and then bringing it back. This is what it looks like. Another way to do this move would be to add more momentum to it. To do this, all you do is you pull more upwards instead of the forwards that we did for the last altercation. Pull upwards like this, swing the end, other end around, bring it all the way down, and then tucking. This style will get more momentum, but it's not as fast. Here's the move in slow motion. This is a, also a great move to use on both hands, so don't forget to practice using both hands so then you can put them together once you get up to speed. So I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future, and go check out some of the other tutorials that I have on my channel.